of war are beginning to send their patients home. With them. Yeah, it may be 4,000. Yes, it may be 5,000 if you go on, you know, the I minus or even 6,000, right? And people always say, oh, well, that's a lot of money. So let me ask you something. Who has a car? Nobody? Okay, so if your engine broke down tomorrow, what would you do? How? How much is this going to engine? Three thousand or more. Hmm? Three thousand or more. But the cost of the home you probably have to use the point. <laughs> but you wouldn't say twice. Would not say twice. You'd run out and it would be totally occupy your mind. The engine on your car while your cells are falling apart and your body is falling apart. Mm -hmm. Right? When was the last time somebody went on a vacation? How much does a vacation cost? And when you come back, you feel shittier than before. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Because it's all an illusion. Because you don't come back with healthier cells. And my one of my favorite lines is, "It's still cheaper than a coffin." <laughs> Our devices are a lot cheaper than a coffin, right? <laughs> but you know, and it's not about just back pain. It's not about your headache. It's not just about depression. It's about all of those things. It is about all of your cells. And it is about quality of life. Sometimes people say to me, oh, I hope I'm going to live long. And I just, I'm, I'm the question asker. I'm like, why? Why do you want to live long? Why? Unless there is quality of life associated with it. Right? There is no point. Look at all the people in Canada that are lining up because they want to die because they have poor quality of life. Right? Look at it. Look in the face of reality. And it all begins on the cell level. And there is no two ways about it. And the medical system will eventually realize that too. And, you know, I'm, I'm very excited, just to, in, in conclusion of my presentation, I'm very excited to say that we are, I have to word this carefully so that I don't get emails with questions which I don't want, <laughs> um, a pilot project in one of the largest healthcare facilities in the GTA area with the IMS and the Omnium as a pilot project for the employee wellness. GTA means Toronto. And around. They started it on September the 15th, and they're going to do it for a month. So, um, which is another way, you know, do you want to believe me when I tell you what the IMS does, or do you want to use it and see what it does, and you report back to me? So they're going to document everything, right? And we can't tell you the name yet or anything, you know, because a pilot project is just that. The results they will give to us, but they design it, but they're all excited and it was for their employees and in the meantime there were already two doctors that already signed up because guess what, they also have poor quality of life, right? And they also don't have any different means available for the health than you do. Actually you have more because you have a PMS. 